Community gardens are more than a place to grow food. They're an opportunity to connect with your community, your neighbors, people who live around you, who more than likely share a lot of the same ideas about growing food and sustainability that you can connect to to help you feel more grounded and rooted in your neighborhood. Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Lloyd and this is my YouTube channel all about living a happier, healthier, more sustainable life. And my wife and I, Michelle, have uh, been working in our community garden for more than three years now, but this is our first year where we actually have a plot in our garden. This past weekend was the kickoff for the community garden. I uh, spent several hours out there and actually got a bit of a sunburn and now that I'm looking at it, my, my skin color kind of matches my shirt, so maybe this wasn't the best shirt choice for this video, uh, but I'm not talking about fashion, I'm talking about community gardens here today. Now, community gardens are an interesting concept. Something that first came about in the 1890s in Detroit, that was really the first community garden where there was a, a bit of an economic depression and people needed a way to you know, grow their own food to have access to food because they were unemployed. People could, you know, get a plot of land, they gave them tools, the seeds, and instructions on how to community garden. Community gardens have kind of sprung up and waned in times of economic need. I made a whole video about war gardens or victory gardens, which you can find up above. But those are a type of community garden where people use communal spaces. And then in the 60s and 70s, community gardens started springing up in urban centers where people were concerned about the environment, who wanted to create food closer to them, uh, create habitats for, for wildlife, uh, because a well-maintained garden uh, is an excellent place to sustain wildlife. So that's one of the things that I enjoy about community gardening. Now, I connected with a few people who work in my community garden to hear a little bit about uh, the garden and their experience. I've been working in the garden since I moved here, uh, almost seven years. Okay. Wow. Um, I got on the waiting list immediately and uh, three years later got a plot. But in the meantime, uh, I did the communal garden and I met some wonderful people and it is an amazing community. I like my plot, but I like the communal section and the people too. Now, as I already said, um, my wife and I have been working in the community garden for three years, but we just now got our plot. One of the nice things about our community garden is that it has several communal spaces, places where we can you know, help grow produce that is for everybody, not just people who have their own little individual private plot. And one of the things that we were really involved in is the, the compost. We're fortunate enough that our community garden that is just a few blocks away has a place where we can drop off food scraps. And my wife and I are compost coordinators, so we make sure that there are volunteers uh, every single week during the, you know, the peak season to pull out that compost, to rotate and turn compost beds, to water them, which has been really great for us to help reduce our food waste, but also feeling like our food scraps are being put to beneficial use because that compost is then used in the garden to enrich those beds to grow more food. Now our community garden is the Southwest Community Garden in DC, uh, which has been running for several years now. And to talk a little bit about that, I spoke with Koi, who is one of the leaders of our community garden. Yeah, so this is a Southwest Community Garden. Uh, we opened up in 2013. Um, it was the culmination of uh, an effort of Southwest residents to bring a community garden to the neighborhood. Uh, there were two previous community gardens, uh, but they were all on lots that were going to get redeveloped. Uh, and we wanted uh, this garden to be an actual community garden rather than a garden in a community. So we have two sections. We have a section for individual plot owners, and then we have a communal section uh, that's open to anyone to help volunteer. Um, and so, yeah, we grow a bunch of different fruits, vegetables. We've got a fruit orchard, um, and we just try to provide a space for people to connect with nature and uh, their neighbors. And our community garden is very much in an urban environment. My wife and I live in an apartment building with no sort of uh, outdoor uh, area attached to our apartment. We don't have a balcony and uh, it's very much uh, urban as you can probably hear the construction noise that's been going on 
uh, this whole time in this video. So it's been really nice for, for me to play around in the dirt, something that I grew up doing, uh, gardening and farming as a child back in Kentucky, and just relearning a lot of things. You know, we've already had some mistakes uh, in our, our seedlings that we started uh, inside. Uh, we went away for a weekend and uh, we, we lost some as a result of that. But it's been a good opportunity to uh, grow things. We had our very first harvest um, this past weekend of a whole bunch of radishes that we planted and several lettuces. So that's been really nice to, to eat something that we grew. So I encourage you to find your community garden. Maybe it's run by the, the Parks Department or it's a local organization of um, you know, people interested in growing their own food. Do a quick Google search. And if you don't have a community garden near you, maybe start one. Gardening is a great way to grow your own food, but connect with those around you who are interested in the same thing. This past weekend working in the garden was a whole lot of fun. Not only meeting people who are interested in growing their own food, but I met a few people who are interested in uh, audiovisual stuff and you know creating uh, content. So if you want to feel more connected to your community, I really encourage you to seek out your community garden. It is a great way to get outside and meet awesome, interesting people and grow some delicious food at the same time. So my name is Tyler Lloyd and I make videos all around the idea of living a happier, healthier, more sustainable life. I'm gonna be shifting a lot of my focus to agriculture, but still talking about things like minimalism and sustainability and how you can live uh, you know, just more eco-consciously at your home. So if any of that stuff interests you, consider subscribing down below. And if you wanna hang out for a little bit longer, watch one of these videos that uh, YouTube thinks you'll like. Until next time, I wish you the best. Bye.